that shit's lost. Honor, respect. And it seems like the last little rebuttal of that shit is left in MGTOW. Not every MGTOW. Oh, Master Sherm, please show us the way of the respect. Have you ever thought about it that not every nigga needs to be out there trying to swoop? Because motherfuckers like you, it's you gonna still be anti MGTOW. Motherfucker. Well, you're certainly setting a good example. What happened to honor and respect? Calling people you don't like motherfuckers, using racial slurs, and referring to women as bitches doesn't seem respectful or honorable to me. Maybe I'm just being mean spirited and not realizing that MGTOW is mostly sunshine and red pill rainbows. Folks, let's enter the wonderful world of MGTOW and experience the respect in this kind and tolerant community that truly understands people. At Crimson Crusader, hashtag Narcissistic Cuck Syndrome. Yes, he's a sweetheart because he confirms to your ideals my wife would have a different opinion about this worthless hogwash of a mangina cock. Dude, just delete your channel. The anti-MGTOW movement equals bullying and harassment. This title reads, MGTOW. MGTOW single moms are bums. MGTOW is freedom! Good morrow, ladies and gents. It is I, the Crimson Crusader, your favorite anti-MGTOW YouTuber that MGTOWs love to hate. Today, I'm going to be responding to some more parts of True Sherm's hypocritical, fallacious, and his truly disrespectful video that seems to be becoming more of an attack than a criticism against the anti-MGTOW community. I understand not all MGTOW are disrespectful, but it is bullshit to claim that a lot of your community is respectful when no one bothers to address those stupid comments and videos that I just showed. If you haven't seen the first part, go into the description and, cl and click on that link below which I've sent and watch that video. I want to make it clear that I'm here to defend myself from the bullshit by satirizing and criticizing Sherm's perspectives towards the anti-MGTOW community. This is not a personal attack, but a criticism of your content. I'll be cl playing clips and paraphrasing arguments to keep this video short. If I somehow misrepresent you, feel free to let me know and make your case. With that being said, let's get into this video. So after you talk about how you don't hate women in the previous part I respond to, you say you're not going to point fingers at women. Then you argue that if someone is a dick, maybe it's a good thing that they are going MGTOW. Now, even if you're not going to point fingers at women, that is still a popular thing that many MGTOW seem to do. When you have MGTOW content that is accusing women in general of being manipulators and gold diggers, it's pretty obvious that there is a lot of hate and stupidity in the MGTOW community. And the content creators who say this stuff are not obscure guys. These are some very popular and prominent MGTOW. The fact that you are just denying shows the lack of accountability and toxicity in the MGTOW community. If no one is willing to hold people accountable, then that leaves room for degeneracy and anarchy. Sadly, that is what you, we are seeing in the MGTOW community, as it seems to be getting more radical. You have people that want to take women's rights away, and you have people who are intolerant about their opinions. Now, I'm not saying those views reflect your whole community, but those are certainly popular and prominent people who are pushing out and spewing out these poisonous views. I'm sorry, but this is something that no rational individual is going to stand for. Furthermore, if you are the problem in the relationship, then why not fix yourself instead of going MGTOW? Going your own way because you don't want to fix your problems is not only lazy, but it's irresponsible and it robs you of your potential to having a fulfilling relationship. Such a reason for going MGTOW doesn't help men, but in fact hurts them. Even if you do stop having relationships, the problem is still not solved. If you're a dick, you're going to act like a dick to your friends, family, etc. It's just your nature, and leaving a relationship doesn't address the issue. MGTOW is an escape, not a solution. Have you ever thought about it that not every nigga needs to be out there trying to swoo a bitch? Trying to, oh I love you every 30 fucking seconds. Once again, you seem to be contradicting yourself. You're saying you don't hate women, yet you're referring to women as bitches. I don't think you hate women, but rather, you seem to be acting emotional and you have a lot of resentment towards another gender, at least that's what it seems to me. And what's funny is how you have no problem mocking people for being in relationships, but when I cr am criticizing the ideas of MGTOW, you start strawmanning and insulting me. Now, you're starting to sound like all those stupid comments I played earlier. What all of those have in common is disrespect and resentment. How is this helping anyone? Furthermore, you claim that you love your family, but then you are part of a group that hates marriage. I'm seeing a lot of double standards here, which calls into question the legitimacy of your claims. Next, you talk about how you call out people for doing shitty stuff, and apparently, I'm one of those people. The amount of hypocrisy I'm finding in your arguments is just insane. And hold on, 
You want to hold people accountable for doing stuff, yet you refuse to accept that there is hate in your own community? How are you anti-bullshit if you won't address the problems in your own community? So MGTOW is all sunshine and everything's great, right? It's all happy. Nobody in MGTOW doesn't hate anyone. I'm sorry, but now you are acting naive and twisting reality. Also, show me how I am one of those people. So far, you haven't been able to come up with a single legitimate argument. Look, don't get me wrong, I agree with you that people should be called out, but don't preach what you don't practice. Then you say that my bullshit won't change you because I haven't walked in your shoes. Again, I never said I was expecting my criticisms to convert MGTOW to anti-MGTOW. In fact, I expect a lot of resistance and animosity. However, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop exposing the lies and fallacy in your movement. Also, how do you know my content won't change people? I see people leaving MGTOW because they realize how fallacious and toxic it is. Also, how, do you, how does your personal experience invalidate my arguments? I don't need to live in Nazi Germany to know Hitler was a bad guy. Because what's the point? Because motherfuckers like you, it's, you gonna still be anti MGTOW. You still gonna be this or that until the day you get fucking burned, and then you go, oh, that's what these motherfuckers were talking Yes, that's what we were talking about. Welcome to the club. That's why I'm not going in, in on you, dude. For what? For who? I'm just bringing you up because I just find you funny. I find motherfuckers like you funny. I'm glad you find my content entertaining. If my content is so funny, then why are you getting so worked up and insulting me and acting all pissed off? If I'm just a joke to you, why are you wasting your time on a 25 minute video going after me? The reason why I am anti MGTOW is because I have actual reasons that it makes sense instead of using my emotions and bitter experiences to guide my decision. And it's hypocritical for you to be accusing me of not changing my opinion when you don't seem to be open minded to other opinions. The fact that you are calling me funny to trivialize my arguments without actually responding to them makes you look insecure and intolerant. I hate to burst your bubble, but I will never join you. I am an anti MGTOW who stands against the dark side. MGTOW attacks like these further motivate me to be an anti MGTOW. I know the true colors and fake news that comes out of MGTOW's mouth, and once you truly take the red pill, then you will understand. MGTOW is the matrix, and the red pill is anti MGTOW. I have been burned before, and I am still anti MGTOW, so it seems I'm either stupid, or maybe I've learned to move on except that sometimes we will fail in a relationship. Your arrogant attitude that you know everyone will end up just like you just shows how little you understand about anti MGTOW. There are anti MGTOW who want to be single. You don't need to be, you don't, anti MGTOW doesn't mean you have to be married or want a relationship. Anti MGTOW simply means being against MGTOW. Now, unlike the MGTOW who face rejection, I continue to move forward with a mission greater than myself. This is something humanity needs, not people only focusing on themselves, but focusing on the greater good. I am not the center of the universe, and if I want a better tomorrow for men of the future, it's up to the people in the present to do something about it. That is why it is so important to spread anti MGTOW philosophies around, because it is a step to solving the problem we face. It is not the answer to everything, but it's a start, which is better than, MGTOW, than what MGTOW has ever done. This ain't out of hate, my man. This ain't out of hate. I'm sitting down like, like two men going to a bar. Back in the day, two men get into a fight. The man, the man who won, he would usually be the bigger man and treat the man who got his ass whooped to a beer. To talk about the experience of the combat we just indulged in. Right. Well, I would be happy to treat you to a beer, but again, I don't know if you would be willing to sit down and listen to me. It's really hard to say that you're not doing this out of hate. When you are strawmanning me, shaming me, laughing at me, and you are mocking people for being in relationships, and you also insult women. I don't think you are hateful, I, again, I think you're just being emotional and bitter, and I understand that, but that still doesn't excuse bad behavior. This pr continues to prove my point of how emotional rather than rational MGTOW seems to be. What's funny is how you treat this as if it's some sort of battle, when in reality we are just two people disagreeing on something. That, that's, that's it, there's nothing more to it. Let's not act like feminists and turn this into some sort of soap opera. Sorry, this isn't Star Wars, dude. Then you say how anti MGTOW are calling MGTOW gay, and then you say how you don't have to be gay to talk to a man or have a conversation with him. Well, no shit, Sherlock. How do you think sons talk to their dads? Seriously, though, this is such a retarded argument that whoever is saying this is probably on something. I don't know why this is even in the video, because I have never said men in MGTOW are gay or that you must be gay to talk to a man. I haven't heard any MGTOW argue that. I agree with you that this is stupid, but why are you mentioning things I've never brought up? 
It seems you are lost and confused, which is probably because you haven't watched my whole video. Then you talk about how, how honor and respect is dying, and you say, for the most part, you see a bunch of respectable MGTOW. How is there more honor and respect in MGTOW? Again, your personal experience in this case is not enough evidence to prove that MGTOW are mostly respectable people. If most MGTOW are respectable, then why isn't a lot of the MGTOW community holding some of its members accountable for promoting hate? If you want to go on personal experience, I can tell you that MGTOW has more toxicity than respect. That was what I was demonstrating earlier in this video with those comments to expose this poor, poor logic. For me, MGTOW is toxic because its ideas and attitudes help promote toxicity. Also, I find it ironic how you call MGTOW, most MGTOW respectable, yet you continue to insult me and mock anti-MGTOW and people in relationships. What's even worse is how you said the N-word earlier. I'm sorry, if I think saying racial slurs is disrespectful, but this is 2019 and I see no reason why we can't have a talk in a civilized manner. What's even more interesting is how many MGTOW attack chivalry, which is just a code of honor. Take a look in the mirror and wake up to what's going on in your community. And don't talk to me about respect when you aren't acting respectful. You see, I have a feeling like motherfuckers like you, like, want me to have my ass up for grabs and I don't understand why. I don't get it. I don't want to fucking go through a divorce. Maybe you should stop listening to your feelings and focus on the facts. Again, I never said that I want to force men into marriage or that all men should be married. It's okay to be single for the right reasons, but I don't think it's okay to be MGTOW. Maybe the reason why you don't understand is you're not listening to what I have to say. Again, the reason I'm against MGTOW is because it is counterproductive to society because it is creating this victim mentality. Many MGTOW think they are victims of some sort of gynocentric society that can't be changed, creating a sense of hopelessness. Why would I allow MGTOW to continue to spread such a fallacious and depressing attitude? It is this apathetic and pathetic attitude that kills change. If everyone said the Nazis were unstoppable and we just gave up, what do you think would happen to human life? Do you know what would happen to freedom? We would lose it. If men are truly being attacked by this gynocentric society, why are MGTOW not making attempts to undermine it? If MGTOW is just focusing on themselves rather than focusing on the problem, then the problem will only get worse because you are allowing it to grow without resistance. But again, gynocentrism is bullshit anyways because there has never been any historical examples of a gynocentric society that caters to women. This leads me to another reason to be anti-MGTOW. MGTOW is the number one producer of fake news on the internet. Take hypergamy for example. That is obvious bullshit. I have not seen one scientist, psychologist, or biologist that has proven its existence. What's even worse is this shitty logic that some MGTOW try to use to prove it. For example, some MGTOW have argued that hypergamy is real because there are many instances of girls monkey branching to men with more money. Then I ask why do, monkey, why do women monkey branch to men with more money and these MGTOW respond because hypergamy. So basically hypergamy exists because the situation is hypergamous. The problem here is that they are assuming that the premise is true without actually proving it. These are just some obvious reasons to reject MGTOW and I have many more, but I'm here to respond to you. After this, he tried to justify going MGTOW by saying that there was a 50% chance of getting divorced in 2011 and divorce has probably gotten worse. And you also mentioned earlier how women initiate 70% of divorces and these seem to be your reasons for not getting married. So the logic in this argument is so flawed that it amazes me how people actually believe this. While it is true half of marriages were expected to end a divorce, that is a very general statistic that fails to overlook many factors. And because MGTOW failed to take into account these important factors, they end up giving their viewers very misleading information. Remember, that the rate of divorce does not mean if you marry someone, it has a 50% chance of failure. You can reduce this risk of having a divorce by hanging out with moral and respectable people. The stability of a marriage depends also on your social class. For example, people who are more educated and more religious are less likely to be divorced. Even more interesting is how people in the law enforcement are less likely to get divorced than entertainers. Now this seems to contradict the idea of social hypergamy, that the idea that a woman will be basically monkey branching to people with more status. If anyone should be getting divorced more, it should be law enforcement because they have less social status than entertainers. Even ethnicity seems to play a role. Asians are less likely to be divorced than Hispanics. Now, I'm not saying not to date a Hispanic person, but I'm just illustrating how this 50% rule doesn't apply to everyone. And at the end of the day, it all depends on who you are dating, which is why it's so important to choose wisely. Furthermore, since 1992, we've been seeing a steady decline in divorce rates, according to Statista.com. These findings of decline in the rate of divorces have also been replicated by statistics from the CDC in 2011. It's clear that things are getting better, and this idea that it's too dangerous to get married is utter nonsense. 
While you could argue the cause of the decline in divorce is because marriage rates are decreasing, in reality, the reason why marriages have decreased is people have gone wiser about the art of marriage. They are instead marrying later, when they have financial security, to improve the stability of a relationship. This is because Western culture is focusing more on careers to attain this financial stability by educating the general population, which takes time away from having a family. Also, the argument that 70% of women divorcing you means that if you meet a woman, she is most likely going to initiate divorce is bad logic. Using that logic, I could argue that because most people who have committed crimes are black, that means my black neighbor is most likely a criminal. That would be considered racist, but somehow it's not sexist to accuse women in general of being the ones who will most likely divorce a man for the wrong reason. And that is just jumping to conclusions right there. It is this kind of misinformation that is robbing the happiness of men. It's not impossible to find a relationship. You just need to know what you are doing, and you need to look in the right place. I'll leave links to these articles in the description box below if you want to check them out. Now let's wrap up. Alright, I'm going to end this video here folks because I'm taking a break from the stupidity of these arguments. This video is truly disrespectful and it's a shame that people can't talk without being honorable and respectful. It's okay to attack ideas, but it's not cool to attack other people while acting like a hypocrite. It's such a dick move. Thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you support the anti MGTOW cause, or you are just interested in hearing other perspectives, consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell so you can get the latest updates on my most recent content. You can also follow me at, at Crimson Crusader as well. Was True Sherm disrespectful? How toxic is the MGTOW community? Is MGTOW open to other people's opinions? Let me know in the comments below. My fair ladies and honorable gents, fare thee well.